Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. A few of you asked earlier in the week to look at bunkers, so I want to go through a bunker shot today. We've got one here and the pin's around about 20 yards away. So again, he's thinking about what your expectations are from here. For some of you, it might just be to get the ball out of the bunker. But again, tour average from this distance is 7 to 9 feet away. So if you're 15 feet away, 20 feet away, anywhere on the green, You've done a good job and again we've got then got a chance of holding a putt. The first thing I do when I come into the bunker is I'm going to have a look at the lie. So the first thing I want to do is look at the lie so then I'm going to go and pick up a landing zone. So the lie here in the bunker is pretty good. Again there's quite a little bit of sand in here. It's not bare and it's not full of sand so I know that I can get something underneath that. So picking where we're going to land the ball then dictates what club we're going to use. So if I'm going to try and land this very short, I need a high shot, we might go 58. But again, this is a 20 yard shot with a lot of green and it's running away from us. So I could get something that runs down the green, so my landing zone might be closer than you think. So I'm not going to want to land the ball into the rough, so we don't know how that's going to bounce. We don't know if it's going to take the energy off the golf ball. So I'm going to be looking at landing it on the first four paces of the green. From there it's all downhill so I'm having a look now how it might break so, but I've picked a large landing zone so again when we went through landing zones before we want to think about something big and something confident. So if I've got a four yard landing zone it's something I'm confident I'm going to hit. So now what I can do is come back to the bunker and think about what club is going to land there and then run out and down to the flag. So guys we're trying to get it as close as possible but again expectation so anything inside 15 feet, 20 feet, I would be happy with. Again, tour average is going to be 7 feet to 9 feet. So if we're inside that, we've hit a really good shot. If we're outside that, we're still putting. But we want to make sure that we get that out of the bunk. So I've gone with a pitching wedge. So it's a club that you probably don't use. I see a lot of people come straight into the bunker, use the 58, use the log wedge or the sand wedge when they don't need to. So I can use a pitching wedge to land this a little bit shorter than normal and let that release down to the hole. So because I'm using the pitching wedge and it's going to come out lower, I don't need to make as long a swing. So again, if we can make our swing a little bit shorter, there's less that can go wrong. So the longer the swing and more speed, there's more that could go wrong. And that's why I see often that people thin the ball and it goes straight over the green or they take too much sand and leave it here just in front of them. So I've got a pitching wedge, it's the same kind of setup, so I'm going to make sure I open the pitching wedge up, my weight's on the left, and then let me hit this shot now. So not a bad result there, we're going to go down to the green now, have a look how close that is, but again, pitching wedge can be used out of the bunker. We want something that's going to release. It's the safer shot. I don't have to make as big a swing and therefore less that can go wrong. So guys, I'll come and count that up now. So it's around about one, two, three paces away. So I'd say roughly nine feet. So you can see that I've been able to use a pitching wedge, let it release. It wasn't a longer swing and it's then given us a chance to have a putt at a birdie or a support. So we've not left that ball in the bunker, we've not sent it long, I've assessed my lie, I've picked a landing zone that I'm comfortable with and I'm confident with, and then I've chosen the club that's going to get me the best result. So guys, use a pitching wedge, get into a bunker, if you need it to release you can use your pitching wedge. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you again on Wednesday where we're going to be talking some putting, see you soon.